The arrival of the 904 GTS was obviously a sensation for me as a Porsche fan. Already back then, Porsche wanted to show it can bridge the gap between long-distance capability and sportiness, and the 904 GTS is a natural byword for that ability. GTS stands for Gran Turismo Sport. Gran Turismo cars were vehicles that were very sporty and equally suited for long-haul travel. It was my great luck that I was privileged to have such a car for numerous races, and everything I had hoped for came true. A really incredibly superb car. The design came from F.A. Porsche. If you look at its shape, you'll find it to be one of the best-looking cars ever to be built. In 1981, the 924 Carrera GTS made its debut as an even sportier version. Porsche approached me and said, you know what, you could race the 924 GTS for us. We want to show it to a full-bred racer, also a great car for everyday use. Following the 924 GTS, Porsche had another car bearing the GTS letters, the 928 GTS. It was built between 1992 and 1995 as the final evolutionary step of the 928. When I joined Porsche in 1993, I asked my colleague Hans-Joachim Stuck which company car I should take. He replied that I should go for the 928 GTS, the best car there was. The next time the three letters GTS appeared on a Porsche was on the Cayenne. The assignment had been to make the sportiest off-roader by any comparison, and that's what it became. The idea behind the KN GTS from 2007 was to position a sporty derivative between the KNS and the KN Turbo. For us at Porsche, the first KN GTS really sounded the starting gun to roll out the GTS concept also to the other model lines. The second generation had even more power. It switched from a V8 aspirated engine to a 3.6 liter V6 twin turbo. Performance rating significantly increased from generation to generation, and the KN GTS really sets the bar in the SUV segment. The current KN generation is returning to the V8, which now comes for the first time as a V8 twin turbo engine with a power of 460 PS. It completes the classic sprint from 0 to 100 km per hour in an impressive 4.5 seconds. This means substantial improvements in the longitudinal as well as the lateral dynamics. For me, the GTS letters really bring a smile to my face. The GTS models really define the benchmark in lateral dynamics as they offer an outstanding combination of driving fun and suspension comfort. 
The setup of the chassis systems is more directed to the rear, which underlines their sportiness. At the same time, we take load away from the front axle, increase lateral guidance, and finally, a lower ride height and wider tires provide a solid basis for implementing it all. Torque distribution is allocated via the active all-wheel system, the Porsche Traction Management. At the heart of it all sits an electronically powered multi-plate clutch, which distributes the optimal drive torque between rear and front axle, highly variable and according to the drive situation. Porsche Torque Vectoring Plus improves stability as well as agility and traction. It is a combination of the electronically controlled rear axle differential lock and brake interventions from the PASM. For the GTS, the Porsche Active Suspension Management PASM has received a decidedly sporty setup. As a standard, the GTS models come with a grey cast iron brake system and red brake calipers. The brake system convinces with its very strong steadfastness and very good deceleration ratings, which is extremely important for sporty driving. It is also extremely good to handle and to meter. Another outstanding feature of the GTS is the newly adjusted and fine-tuned steering application. It offers superb haptic feedback on the driving status and road surface. The GTS models furthermore provide the options to select an air suspension, rear axle steering and Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control PDCC. The new V8 twin turbo in the GTS has seen a significant power increase over the V6 engine of the predecessor, which also results in corresponding improvements to the performance ratings. The new V8 engine stands out with its very compact size. The new engine family has the exhaust turbocharger packed into the inside of the V-Bank. It offers substantial advantages in its response, thanks to the short paths to the turbocharger. Combustion behavior is highly efficient, due to the high-pressurized petrol direct injection with up to 250 bar that comes in combination with the thermal management and an adaptive cylinder deactivation. The cylinder linings are fitted with a plasma coating, which offers strong sturdiness at high demand and load, which also provides very high efficiency thanks to low friction. Thanks to the use of high tensile but light materials and the innovative production techniques, the V8 engine is even lighter than the previous V6 engine. The KN GTS comes with a specifically attuned sport exhaust system fitted as standard. The sport exhaust system has lateral tailpipes and, in its internal setup, has been designed especially for the KN GTS. For the coupe models, we developed an extra highlight. We came up with an exhaust system mounted in the middle center that underlines the emotional character even more. This exhaust system is fitted in the middle but stands out above all through the flow separation, which has two entirely separate flow ducts that are not connected. Next to the optical effect, this central layout of the exhaust system allows us to generate a more emotional sound with an even higher frequency. The product philosophy is that KN GTS is always the sportiest offer within the model line. With the new generation, we substantially sharpened key elements to the look and power of the car. Characteristic for the sporty and unique appearance of the KN GTS is the sport design package, which comes as standard feature in combination with the numerous GTS typical black design elements. You'll find these black accentuations at the air intakes of the front apron, the trims along the side windows and the tailpipes of the exhaust system, the LED lights with the Porsche dynamic light system and the LED light strip along the rear are also tinted black. 
In addition, the 21-inch large RS Spider design wheels in black matte silk, plus the GTS lettering at the rear and doors, round out the sporty appearance. This KN GTS Coupe maintains its own very own character thanks to its steeply falling roofline and broad shoulders at the rear, plus the panoramic glass roof and the adaptive rear spoiler. The Coupe comes with the lightweight sports package, easily identified at the contoured carbon roof the 22-inch GT design wheels and the new and exclusively for the coupe developed sports exhaust system with the tailpipe situated in the middle. Inside the cabin, sophisticated materials such as Alcantara and dark brushed aluminum give it a pronounced sporty look and feel. The eight-way sports sears with Alcantara on the center lining and the upholstered sides are both exclusive to the KN GTS. For bespoke individualization, the customer can choose the interior GTS package with further color accentuations in carmine red or crayon. GTS stands for sportiness, for real driving fun. The highlights of the GTS chassis as the steel springs with Porsche active suspension management and a 20 mm lower ride height. In addition, it comes with the bigger brake system with red brake calipers and Porsche Torque Vectoring Plus. The chassis setup is all geared towards sportiness to increase driving performance still further. The highlight of the new KN GTS is its new V8 twin turbo engine, where its predecessor still had a V6. Obviously, the V8 has seen its power rating go up, but it also has another advantage in the position of its center of gravity. With a more compact size, it can be mounted deeper into the vehicle. This extra power also meant that we significantly increased its performance ratings. <laughs> 